Hi everybody, RCOSC and welcome to today's video and today's video is going to be on the fantastic Netrunner Linux distribution. I've never ever come across this before so it's a new experience for me so <coughs> let's find out what it's all about. Um, first of all Netrunner is a GNU Linux secured system. It's based on Debian but it's Ubuntu compatible. It supports KDE, GNOME and Wine. Um, you've got your all inclusive favourites for internet, office, absolutely everything plus multimedia. Features out of the box, everything works out of the box. All your add ons, all your codecs, the lot. It's completely user friendly, and I would imagine by the look of it, it's an absolute kiss installation. <coughs> Yeah, so there's a whole ton of stuff on there. It's supporting my least favourite interface, which is KDE. But that's just a personal preference. That's nothing to do with the distribution. But it looks as if it's absolutely loaded. So let's just have a look at the size of the download of this thing. Um, it's 1.1... Just over about 1.1 gig. So it's no small download. But if it's fully loaded out of the box and good to go, then it's certainly worth it. So let's have a look at it then. So this is that runner booted up. Um, so it's a standard KDE interface, gorgeous wallpaper first of all, very nice. You've got your normal widget access button top right. If we come down bottom right again you've got your um, widget access button. Um, you've also got your um, show desktop settings, you've got desktop uh, clock uh, complete with calendar as well. Um, you've got your wired network status and your wireless network status as well which is really really nice you've got your volume control you've got clipboard manager you've got your information icon that shows all your information so you've got assume that would be your package manager and you've also got settings as well yeah synaptic thought so beautiful so you've got your synaptic package manager plus your settings as well lovely so that's all straightforward and tickety boot and further along you've got a shortcut for Facebook for YouTube for Firefox for your terminal for your home folders and for your application menu which is rather different I have to say on the desktop you've got my computer and install Netrunner 4 very very nice so I just want to check out what all this stuff is um, first of all let's just have a look through the menus what software is rather a neat KDE 4 type menu not the normal that's for sure and under software under graphics we get acquire image digicam dng converter expo blending gimp is installed um, gwen view and um, you get a batch processor a panorama creator ksnap libreoffice draw um, ocular and panorama under internet we get aggregator, Blue Devil, Firefox, um, Kill Filebox, K Mail, Conqueror, KPPP, uh, Pigeon, which is fantastic, uh, Transmission, fantastic, um, Quassel, IRC, no problem, Skype, fantastic, Java, and Thunderbird. So everything really is installed out of the box. That's fabulous. Um, I just wonder if that K Filebox is um, useful for open box. Interesting. I have to have a look at that later. Um, under multimedia. We've got Ace Tone ISO, Amrock, Clementine, Dragon Player, No Man Player, K3B, KMix, um, QMMP, and your VLC. Absolutely awesome there. I don't think there's anything else you probably want to add to that at all. That's fantastic. And under Office, we've got K Address Book, Contact, K Organizer, K Time Tracker, the full LibreOffice suite, and Ocular. OK, under web apps, well it says it all, you've got Dropbox, you've got Facebook, Google Calendar, Google Docs, Google Mail, Google Maps, Twitter and YouTube. How cool is that on a menu? That is just awesome. Absolutely awesome. And then last but not least, you have your wine interface as well. This is really interesting, guys. I wonder if this would be um, suitable for a more intermediate Linux user that perhaps wants to run um, games and Windows applications. be interesting to see. It's very, very nice. Under games, yeah, you get quite a few games, actually. Um, 
you got a couple of arcade games, board games, card games, logic games. It's still the average stuff, though, the average Linux stuff. It's certainly nothing of Windows quality, that's for sure. Um, you get a load of stuff under Utility, K-Mouse, Tool, K-Notes, all that sort of stuff. Um, virtual box as standard. That is very, very nice, guys. That is very nice. And you get all your normal settings, system settings under System your main system settings panel run command and your leave well I've got to be honest guys to date so far this is the best looking Linux operating system by, by none absolutely amazing not only is it wonderfully looking everything out of the box is installed and ready for you to use I'm just going to load Firefox up, <coughs> excuse me, and just see, well, I mean you've got all your plugins already pre-installed. Do you know what guys, i tell you what, this is one awesome operating system, Netrunner 4. That is outstanding, isn't it? Absolutely outstanding. That all loads tickety boo beautiful. Yep, I'm from the UK, thank you very much. Uh, Flash is already in there installed for you. Fantastic, fantastic indeedy. So everything literally is installed for you out of the box. There is absolutely zero configuration stroke installation required. I beg your pardon, you might need to do a bit of configuration for your printers and stuff but you've not got to install the operating system and then go and spend an hour or two downloading, configuring and setting up the most obvious useful applications. So that is very very impressive indeed I have to say. Right just before we go any further I'm just going to go and do the Synaptic Package Manager and let's see if we can install something from here and indeed it's there it's available let's mark it for installation yeah so it wants a load of libraries as well okay and go and install so to install where that you want that's not installed or supplied with the live CD it's this simple you just go to your synaptic package manager you do a quick search for the software that you want it will download and install any dependencies that that piece of software requires and then it will download and install your software for you how cool is that so Netrunner 4 is very very quickly becoming <laughs> one of my favorite um, Linux operating system stroke distros without a doubt and of course it's based on Debian which means it's going to be as stable as the day is long right now I'm interested to see where it's put it has it in fact put it under multimedia it has and there is the piece of software we've just installed GDK record my desktop well guys that is just stunning absolutely stunning um, you've got all your um, KDE advantages are standard <coughs> excuse me you can add your widgets exactly the same as you would in another KDE distribution absolutely fantastic that is beautiful that really really is you got transparency one would assume by default let's have a look yep so Dolphin is your file browser um, yep you've got transparency installed with KDE by default um, of course you've got all the plugins installed by default so it should do everything as standard that's just stunning absolutely stunning so um, let's just go to I, I tell you what guys this is really exciting it, folder view setting this is really exciting this is this could be a real cracking top distribution um, oh, that's just fantastic it really is the wallpapers that are in built are absolutely beautiful beautiful that one that's one of my um, favorite all-time wallpapers anyway that's popular in popular next look at that that's gorgeous that is absolutely fantastic people so 
there you go Netrunner 4 um, I'll put a link to the description underneath the video to this website which is netrunner-os.com um, I really heartily recommend you guys check it out I'm very very excited by this distribution for newcomers as you know I don't like KDE um, as a desktop interface this could possibly completely change my attitude towards KDE because I think that is absolutely delightful I really do and for anybody who doesn't want to get involved with unity or gnome or whatever what a wonderful wonderful alternative for you thanks everybody for watching please rate comment subscribe thumb the videos up and I'll see you all really soon for another wicked I see video.